Recent recalls have shown us just how little we actually know about what toxic chemicals could be in the everyday things that we all buy. So, now an Ann Arbor-based group called Ecology Center has gone to work to arm you with some information. Toys can have lots of toxic chemicals in them. They can have lead, they can have mercury, they can have arsenic. Ecology Center Policy Director Mike Sherberg says those chemicals cause a wide range of dangerous side effects, including brain damage. Now, you can log on to HealthyStuff.org to track the toxic chemical content of thousands of items, from purses and pet toys to children's toys. It's a tool Melissa Sargent says she's looking forward to using. I'm an avid label reader, so whether I'm in the grocery stores looking at the food labels or um, the toys, you know, they don't list the ingredients. Owners of toy stores like Jack Zagransky plan to use the site to continue to make sure what's on the shelves is safe. You're shopping at a store that, that redoubled its efforts after CPSIA to look at all of the products that we carry to, to speak with our manufacturers and to demand basically their test data information so that we, so that we're comfortable with what we're selling. When it comes to pet toys, Sherberg says even he was surprised at what their research found. We found nearly half of all the pet products that we tested, we're talking collars, leashes, tennis, tennis balls, chew toys, all those types of things, had at least one hazardous chemical in them. In fact, many of them had significant levels of hazardous chemicals. And you can find a link to that website on my Ruth of the Rescue page at clickondetroit.com. Nice Good to know what's in things, huh? Too. Yes, yeah. absolutely right. Well,